Hello everybody, I'm Emma Central and welcome to a rainy Sheffield. It is Saturday the 15th of May 2021 and we're going on another mini bus adventure. A tiny one, um, it's not that big. We're going somewhere we've actually already been before in a video. I and mean, we haven't been for some time so I thought we may as well, may as well record it seeing, some, seeing as I'm heading there and seeing as the bus that we've got is very much worth a little bit of filming on. So the vehicle that we have got for today is we are taking a little trip on one of the TM Travel Nordics 1179, one of the triaxle vehicles. I'll tell you a bit more about the history when we get on it. And we're going to be taking a spin on that on a quite unusual Saturday working on the 218, something that they don't tend to do that often. So yeah, we're going to be doing a nice run up to Bakewell on that. We're going to do a full round trip, so we're going to sample the 13 bend sides of the route, as well as the Chatsworth house side of the route. So we're going to do a full round trip on it, have a little look at the route, have a little look at the scenery, see how it's nice. And yeah, hopefully get you all excited for potentially this summer travelling out and about on the Peak Line 218 to Chatsworth House, Bakewell and Baslow basically, as well as having a little ride on what is quite plainly um, a bit of a beast of a bus. So yes, I'm currently on my way um, down to the interchange now, so I will see you all when I get there and when the bus arrives. Sheffield for a little bit and um, just on stand ready to make a move back to Bakewell at 16.40. So we've done one round trip already, this is round trip number two um, and we're going to be doing another trip up to Bakewell and then leaving at 6pm coming back to Sheffield before the bus goes back to depot. So this is one of two Nordics that TM Travel have. Um, this is 11.79 and the one they've got is 11.70, both of which were new in the 315 series to First Class Go in 2002, being registered SA52 plates. So the vehicles were taken on lease by First Class Go in 2002, and in 2012 when the lease ended, First Class Go did not renew it, so these vehicles ended up um, returning back to Volvo before being sold as an entire batch to Brightbus in South Amston, who operated them in their very sort of prominent Lime livery on their school services in South Yorkshire, Derbyshire and beyond. So a few years ago, um, Brightbus um, closed up. So they decided to shut up their operations, sold off their vehicles and scrapped some of them. And the Nordics were up for sale, of which um, Wellglade Group, that is what um, is who owns TM Travel, purchased four of them. Two of which, that is 11, 79 and 70, went to TM Travel and two others that are now number 20 and 21 ended up at Knott's and Derby. This one's more interesting though, as this one was actually semi-scrapped by Brightbus, who um, sort of semi-scrapped it. However, it was purchased by TM Travel, who decided to rebuild it. So this vehicle pretty much came back from the dead and was rebuilt. So yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, I think we're nearly ready to go. So yes, I will um, sort you up. We'll set off and do another run to Bakewell.
This was a different one, obviously it's been pieced together and with a little less of sort of my commentary as usual, but I do hope it's been an interesting watch and regardless. The Nordic is quite a unique bus um, and the round trip and the two that I did on it um, were quite nice. So it is an interesting motor and if you are ever in the South Yorkshire region, do look out for TM Travel and look out for their two Nordics and do take a spin on them as they are lovely buses. So if you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to hit the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more both from the real life bus industry as well as the transport simulation world, do be sure to subscribe and join the And More Central community. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.